Hello everybody, welcome back to Dinner of a Gungeon. I just pressed record for the YouTube mm. site. Well timed, Dry Dog, well timed. Mm. Mm. And thank you for the bits. Mm. And also showing the YouTube side the oh. custom Mafia Frog ones I have. Farming has been good. The farming has been very good, yeah. $5.40. So we're here, we're playing as a Marine. The Gungeons and Dragons update is still not here, but my internet is kind of okay, so... We're gonna record a run. I might pause every couple of rooms to sip on some TMA before the stream because it's bloody freezing. And also, I think I have a cold at this point. I'm fairly convinced it's not just allergies. I think I am coming down with the cold. Probably having a freezing cold house doesn't help either, but... Uh, electrician is coming on Friday to look into maybe getting some more up-to-date radiators put in and whatnot, because the ones that are here, I think, are the ones that came with the house and are very old. Space Marine? I could play Space Marine in general as well. They're, the Gungeons... Well, they mentioned that September was the month that the Payday 2 DLC expansion thing was coming. And then it's just... I think they said fall for Gungeons and Dragons updates. So that means they're late, but they're always late with their updates because they're a small team and they take way too long to do anything. So, fingers crossed by the end of the year. I guess. Hopefully December will be the month that actually comes out. It's in a playable form because they had it at PAX. Or no, at TwitchCon rather. So it is in some form playable. I guess they're they're very meticulous about everything being just so. But I expect we'll see it like towards the end of this month or December. That might be optimistic. Right, Chai, you let me know what you want me to talk about first. Do you want me to talk about what's going on with Battlefront 2 and EA, or do you want me to talk about BT first? The old tired and true topic of my ISP. I actually, like, raised my glass in a toast, because I'm taking a sip. Why do you suck at Gungeon, but you're good at Isaac? Isaac is more pattern-based. Well, Isaac has more options and more synergies. That's probably why. So you can't just say yes, you have to pick which one. <laughs> this ain't Hand of Fate 2. Do something with EA first. Well, you're going to need to update me on some of the parts. I'm going to cover the parts that I know of. And then you can kind of keep me right and then tell me how the story has evolved. So I know Battlefront 2 is out today, I think, worldwide release. But prior to that... Review copies going around, except for people who got early copies, they saw that to unlock the iconic characters, Darth Vader, Luke, um, Leia, I, I can't remember who else, anyway, they, were cost, they cost a ridiculous number of in-game credits. Not real-life money, in-game credits, like 70,000 or something. And the only way to get that would be to grind for hours upon hours upon hours. Like, someone estimated, I think, 40 hours per character. That is, unless you're willing to buy loot boxes and try your luck. So this obviously caused a fuss prior to the game being out. And in order to avoid many, many, many cancelled pre-orders, last I know of, EA said, okay, we, well, actually, the thing that made them do this is they made a comment on Reddit saying, that's the price because we want people to feel a sense of accomplishment when they finally reach the goal and get the character they want, unless they're willing to buy loot boxes. And it became the most downvoted comment in Reddit history for this, the however many years Reddit has existed. It's like minus half a million downvotes or something. It's like a ridiculous amount. So I think because of that and the potential negative PR as a result of getting the most disliked comment in Resident, uh, Reddit, not Resident Evil, history, they reduced the price of the big, the big heroes by like 75% or something like that. Still relatively pay to win the game itself, but it is slightly easier to get the heroes you want if you don't want to buy loot boxes. Still, still requires grinding. And I also believe that tomorrow, as well, tomorrow on the night we're recording this, obviously, they are doing an AMA on Reddit regarding this situation, which I'm sure will be a hilarious shit show, and I look forward to seeing the highlights. Where I'm sure they will PR dodge because they have plus 500 PR dodge skills. Any relevant question about the issue 
and instead just use it as a chance to try and win back people's affections. They also cut credit rewards by 75% and 20k credit campaign reward is now 5k. Oh, so not only did they reduce the price, but they reduced the amount of credits you earn. That's sneaky. That's EA. That's the EA you know and love. Actually, not directly connected to Battlefront, or, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 2, not specifically Battlefront. Are you all aware of the patent? 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 Either way. The patent the EA got regarding matchmaking? Or applied for? I don't actually know if it's been granted. You know, there is a reason why they've won Worst Company in America for about four years in a row. They applied for or were granted a patent on a system whereby multiplayer matching up is specifically done so that players who don't have real, like, gear purchased via real money with those who have bought it so they will feel inadequate as a result and go into the mentality that they should buy the loot boxes to compete because they keep on getting put up against people who have spent actual money on gear and are therefore better than them because of statistical statistical advantage. Oh wait, was that Activision? Okay, never mind then. Oh well, no, well, no, still not never mind then, because that's still bloody terrible. Does that apply in... Oh, if it's Activision Blizzard, yeah, so that might come into Blizzard games eventually. My tea is almost gone. It is hard to tell the difference between Activision and EA because they're both equally bad. Yes, this is very fair. Oh, two brown chests, eh? Wonderful. Um, hmm. Why not? It's different. They're just facing wasn't to make others buy loot boxes, but to make the people who bought the loot boxes feel like their purchase was worth it. Oh, it goes hand in hand, really. That you get to kick people's ass who haven't purchased the overly strong DLC or loot box weapons. Scummy, regardless. Pure, pure scum. But, what anyone says about it, no matter how many hit pieces get run on, like, dying gaming websites and whatever, doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is whether or not it loses the money. If it loses the money, then they care. If it doesn't lose the money, no amount of negative PR will make them give a shit. That's that's the way it works. Now, I saw that Prechop before the stream started was talking about they've removed the refund button for the game on on Origin. Is that true? And you have to actually phone them now if you want a refund for the game currently, because I guess they were getting inundated and they don't want people to make rash decisions like refunding their shitty pay-to-win game. Uh, do I want this or do I want this? I might just buy... I might just buy the 38 depending on how much money we get from the boss. So much green. There is a lot of green chat, yeah. Usually it's a lot of like different shades of red. Not buying games that have loot boxes is a good way to protest. Now, playing a game that has loot boxes is okay if, it, if you really want to. Just try not to indulge in them. But yeah, they will only care if they... <sighs> oh, wow, I don't remember that being so big. Mind you, it's like, what, the second time I've ever used this? I do look forward to reading the AMA tomorrow. It's not a game I have any interest in. Interest, not interested. It's one of those days where I find it hard to talk as well. I'm not warmed up, clearly. Also, it is freezing. The tea is helping, though. I don't need you to, like, fire your missiles and whatnot again so I can throw poison at your feet. We've got the arena where it's basically exceptionally easy to get a flawless. Oh, wait. Missiles? Oh, he went down. 
that kid is hitting me. Screw you. Oh, there goes an easy flawless that I definitely earned. But suddenly his missile range is much bigger. If we don't get a good gun from him, might just quickly restart. Seems like a bad foot to get off on to not flawless the first floor boss when it's exceptionally easy. Flawless. I should have a flask of tea. That's a good idea. I don't have a flask though. But yeah, that'll keep it warm for longer. Uh, we got a good gun though. Hmm. Hmm, I'll buy a key and see how the second floor goes. Here, you misuse this ultimo every time you do it. For the record. You should sing when you first come to stream, warm up those vocal cards. Mm, no. Is that about cover it on EA? So I'm moving the empty cup of tea so I can move my juice here. There we are. Is there anyone here who's actually bought that Star Wars game? Or if you have bought it, are you planning on refunding it? I tried a little bit of the first Battlefront, also they're turning out the second one way too quickly after the first one, and the first one was very lackluster. That would have been interesting, I played a couple, I really enjoyed Battlefront 2 I think, on PC, way back in the day. You're tempted to buy it after the holidays, Poppy? No. Think of what else you could do with that money. You could buy Overwatch loot crates. Hm. Not quite sure why those shots disappeared. Oh, hey, I'm in my own poison. Don't buy loot boxes. I'd just like to point out once again that I've never actually purchased Overwatch loot boxes. I've only ever bought them using other people's money at their behalf. Or bequest, rather. They made me. Hmm. Wait on that for now, see what quality of chests we're dealing with. Hello, chest artist. I really, I'm, I'm very eager to get into my BTE story. So are we done on Star Wars and, and EA and Activision and them all being absolutely terrible, greedy pricks? It's not like that news is new. They've always been that way. It's just that they've found a new revenue stream in loot boxes. And it works because there's so many children out there with disposable income. They don't care. They don't know the real value of money. It's probably their parents' money anyway. I just realised I might come across like I was like giving a backwards compliment or backwards insult to Corp given what he was talking about in Discord before the stream. That was not my intention at all. It's fine, he's probably on Final Fantasy anyway. If he's here, everybody be cool and don't tell him what I said. Siphon filter was good, kinda. From what I vaguely remember of it. A friend of mine made her son do yard work after spending $45 to get stuff in Mine- Wait, Minecraft has microtransactions? Wait. I don't remember Minecraft having anything like that. Is that something new that Microsoft added after they bought it? Because I played Minecraft a little bit, like, years ago. 
I say a little bit, I actually probably played it quite a bit. Just as far as like content for YouTube and whatnot, not really. It's just mostly leisure time. Because again, I like boring games now and then, which is why I'm playing Destiny 2. But sometimes boring and mundane is just what you need to relax. Skin packs? Oh, skin packs were always on the 360 version, I think, from what I remember. Shouldn't have picked that up until I looked into here, my bad. Well, we still got lucky, two keys. You can buy them on servers. Oh, I remember them going nuts on, like, servers selling premium tiers or whatever, as in Minecraft servers. Actually, I think that was just prior to the Microsoft buyout. Notch wanted to do away with servers, like, tricking young people into wasting ridiculous amounts of money for premium status on the server to get, like, gold skins and whatnot, yeah. I do recall that now. It has fishing. I remember having fishing. Although it wasn't very implemented, I guess. Factions and RPG servers, yeah. Huh. It's a very quick find on the boss. See, as long as there's a bunch of kids with parents who are just giving them money to spend on games, the loot box problem is probably not gonna wait, going to go away. Like, Shadow of War has that same scummy thing. It sold well. The game did well. It was top of the Steam sale charts for at least a week. And there'll be people buying it, telling themselves, I'll buy the game, but I won't buy the loot boxes. And they might not. But honestly, if you want to show utter defiance to it being a thing and being forced into so many games that don't need it, you've kind of got to not buy the game. Yeah, I'll take a gamble on this. Why not? Who cares? Oh, good. <laughs> it's the bullet gun. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I'll fire this gun or not. I wonder if it will say anything when I fire it. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Bullet, 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 bullet. Hello, a grenade. I've got bullet. That's a grenade! Oh, I'm gonna finish a rifle challenge here. Yep, there you go. Did that chest spawn because I finished it? Didn't mean to take that for this, but never mind. Potion of lead skin is much better than the poison vial. Hello, magic bananas. Alright, I'm gonna switch now because, yeah, we, we get it. Games companies are greedy assholes. Oh, now I'm immune to poison. Maybe it would have been good to hold on to that. Whatever. I want to talk about my ISP. So, as you might be aware, the problem is still there. Random disconnects. Sometimes my upload is worse after a disconnect. Sometimes the download is. Sometimes both. Sometimes permanently as well. They just will not go back up. I really wish I'd found you here before I wasted all that money in the shop. 23. Might be able to get that after the boss. So anyway, I was supposed to get engineer number 4 visiting after I complained on Friday and they were to arrive on Monday. They did not arrive on Monday. At all. Uh, nor did I hear from them. And I looked up the fault that was being tracked on the BT website after they didn't turn up because I thought maybe they just fixed something off site again and didn't tell me because that's happened before. Well, the fault was marked as having been fixed and approved as being fixed by me even though I hadn't spoke to anyone from BT since the Friday. So I thought, well, that isn't right. So I had to go talk to their, you know, text chat in India again. I was like, hey, my, my engineer didn't arrive. And the first thing they said was, 
doesn't say here that you were scheduled to get an engineer. I jumped the wrong way. So I'm like, well, that's not right because I double checked with a second person to make sure that I had the engineer booked. But as it turns out, that was actually a good thing because they had no idea what to do at that point. So they put me through to BT offices in Glasgow. So I was actually able to talk to someone who understood English, which was nice. Problem still though is then they couldn't really help with the problem. <laughs> so I got put through to a different place and my heart sank when they did that because I thought, oh god, it's going to be the call center in India again, isn't it? It wasn't. It was in England this time. And I actually got to speak to someone who seemed like they were in a position to actually do something for a change. So apparently now... So that's given us a little bit of curse and plus one HP to counter the flawless I messed up there. One has been the game's fault, that one was my fault. So now my case has a case manager who I now have direct line of contact with. They gave me a phone number, told me when I can contact them, etc. And that's going to be it until they actually fix something. And they have scheduled engineer number five for Friday this week. I don't know what the engineer will do different at this point. And also it certainly seems like the engineer that was meant to visit on Monday either didn't turn up and lied that they did or the person I spoke to online lied when they said they gave me the appointment. Like definitely someone lied to me at some point and then tried to cover their tracks by pretending that I had agreed the problem was fixed. I don't know who in the chain did it, but someone in the chain did it. But apparently this this person I've been speaking to directly, very nice lady incidentally, she has also escalated my complaint regarding the engineers, or not my complaint, my, my problem to the higher tier engineers as in the folk who visit your house. So although it's going to be a normal engineer that's visiting on Friday, specialists are going to be on it as well. Because I assume at this point all they can really do is give me a new line. Because they've done, as in like physically put in new cables, I mean. Because they've done everything else. And the problem hasn't gone away. My internet restarted itself earlier today. It came back with the same upload and download, but it restarted itself. So the problem has not gone away. Do you like some poison with your poison? I don't know why that bullet didn't fall. Every other time I've done this room, he falls. So that's where we stand with the latest saga of my shitty ISP and bad internet. But that's the second time I've caught them directly lying or otherwise trying to do scummy things. The other scummy thing was they try their hardest, at least the people who are following scripts in India. They try their hardest to make you consent to closing faults because when you eventually get compensation, it's based on how long the fault was open for, not how long the problem has existed. So they try and scam you, but it's not necessarily their fault because that's just part of the script and they probably don't even fully understand what they're saying anyway. But it's a bit different when I speak. I was speaking to a level 2 tech. That's the one who arranged the appointment I was supposed to have on Monday. I wasted the afternoon of my day off sitting in for a bloody engineer that didn't turn up, only to be told it was never apparently booked. And yet, despite it apparently never being booked, I said that the engineer that wasn't booked fixed my problem. Where's this key? Oh yes, there it is. Like, that's the, that's the really obvious lie part. It's like, oh! So the engineer that wasn't actually booked for me fixed my problem and I said they fixed it even though I didn't have an engineer. Like, I wonder honestly if the engineer that was supposed to visit knew that it was me again and just thought, oh, I don't know what to do, so just fuck it, basically. It could have been that. I, like, I know, I start to know all the engineers in this area by name now and they know me. The guy who actually did the last visit was the guy who tried to fix the problem the first time and he spoke on the phone to another guy who tried to fix the problem. It is a never ending story, yes. I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> Damn it. I was going to say my facial expression is that of the room I just cleared. 
yeah, that, that pretty much sums up right there. And it's not like this Friday is going to magically be fixed either, because as I say, I don't think an engineer visiting can do anything else that they haven't already tried. I do think it's going to come down to just maybe the lines are too old and they need replaced. And I don't really see anybody around about my age or younger in this area I'm in now. I think it's mostly older folk. So it wouldn't surprise me if even if they use the internet, they wouldn't notice if their upload was bad or if their download was like the difference between 50 up and 20 up. They, they wouldn't use it for anything that would matter. Oh. I'll take those. No, no. The lowercase i has become a flashing i. Also, I mean lowercase r. I guess I'll use eh, the snowballer. Next time on Dragon Ball BT. Alright, I'm done venting about BT, it's just, it's obviously very stressful, and at the same time, like, I just, I honestly can't believe that they're actively lying and trying to cover up. And being so blatant about it, or I don't, I don't know who it was, but something is clearly, something, someone, they just want the problem to go away as opposed to actually helping me. But now I have someone who I can talk to directly. There's a case file that will not be closed instantly. Like she very specifically said to me because I questioned about like, well, sometimes the problem doesn't come back again for two weeks. And she said, don't worry, we'll wait and not close the fault until we're absolutely sure it's done this time. Little spherical cube. The plan for part two is one last go of rolling forever. Is one last go of Destiny 2? Uh, or... Ooh. Hmm. Or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Space Marine, I guess, if people wanted instead, and we'll just not have Destiny 2 back on the stream. I'm still a little wary of doing more golf and jackbox yet because again if my internet craps out then those have to be my two go-to games for streams i could do a quick poll when it comes to the end of the second run i guess this one's going as far as it will go because it's a bit too late now to restart it is a very bad run though <laughs> something published by EA. What was the last thing I played that was published by EA? Uh, Titanfall 2, I think? Was that them? That was them, wasn't it? Like, Respawn made it, but they published it. This is who blows chunks. Those chunks of what? Pineapple? Yeah, Titanfall 2 had a fantastic story mode. I loved it. Love piloting a big stompy mech and the story was actually pretty decent. It also looked lovely. I have a playthrough of it on my channel on YouTube if anyone's interested. Ripping pieces. BT? No, it wasn't BT. <laughs> what was the name of the robot? It was something similar. Wait, was it actually BT? It definitely started with a B. I was going to say BM, but I don't think it was BM either. BG? It was BT? Oh, never mind. Time 2 is terrible. Never play it. Although I guess you could have Troy Baker screaming BT! You could have that as a sub sound. Wait, no, was, was it Mercer or Baker that voiced the guy you played as in that? Again, it's been a while, little while since I played it. Uh, no, it was Matt Mercer, wasn't it? BT7274.
That's his thigh sizes in meters. I probably shouldn't be using this as a clear. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Uh, I'm going to need to do though. Have I found the pretty pictures of Spider-Man yet? Sadly, the camera has not made its presence known yet. Oh, the other thing I had to bring up regarding BT, although it only really affects the stream side potentially, they did say they'd be doing a little like stress test period on the line or something like or I think they called it disruptive testing was the way they referred to it as. So if that happens at night, it might cause problems with the streams later in the week. If that happens, then we might have to fall back to golf or jackbox or whatever. I have not streamed Evil Within 2 or played it at all, no. I decided it wouldn't be beneficial to do so. It wasn't. Like, too many people on stream don't like anything that might even have a whiff of horror and they go away and it wouldn't do well on YouTube either. Nope, not going to get that. Uh, I'll, I'll open the brown chest. It's it's an active or a passive. I guess just hope for a fairly okay passive. And I think the AK might be better for the boss over the duck gun. The duck hunt gun. Hello, police kick. Oh, knife shield. Ah. Hmm. It's quite a bit of curse on top of what I already have. Yeah, why not? As I said, this run is in the toilet, so we might as well just keep on going. Yep, that sounds about right. Take that! What did that do? Oh, that seems to have actually done a lot. Nice, you'll come back to me. Thank you. My AK is better than your AK. Because I bought it from a loot box. Ooh. I see it at me, but I'm fighting a big tank right now, so I can't really read it. Take that! He's not doing as much damage as I was hoping, obviously. <laughs> Given that the tank is still alive. Oh, and there's a jammed friendo somewhere. It's the price I pay for this weapon. Or this item, rather. They only did disruptive tests to see if someone's piggybacking on your connection. Maybe that's what they're trying for and they just didn't tell me. Although I can't imagine someone has somehow gotten access to my connection. There wouldn't be anyone. As I say, I'm surrounded by old folk. I'd be very surprised if one of them was actually some kind of hacking mastermind. Is Humble Bundle better to get games off of Steam? Humble Bundle is now owned by IGN, so no. No, it is not. Greg the Geriatric Hacker. Greg was your go-to old person name? Doesn't seem like an old person name to me. Gerald! Now that, that kind of fits better. Okay, speaking of people buying people, didn't... EA buy Respawn now, or someone bought Respawn? It doesn't bode well for Titanfall 3. It's 
especially if it was EA because they don't think that people want single player campaigns. Oh dear, they did. Oh, I forgot about him going through walls. That was very lucky. Yeah, what options would you like for Section 2? Would you like me just to go to Space Marine or will I give you an option between, say, like, Space Marine, maybe Isaac, and, uh... I'm not sure. It's one of those weird days. I'm looking forward to trying the cooperative multiplayer Final Fantasy XV thing tomorrow, so I'm, I'm laissez-faire about what I want to do today. It's a shame that we ran out of South Park stuff to do until the Season Pass adds more. Although I did consider maybe doing Stick of Truth on the stream. Not tonight, because I haven't got it reinstalled. And I have, you know, played it before, etc. But it's been a long time since I played it. And people seem to like the fractured butthole. But still, oh. For anyone watching after the fact on YouTube thinking, Oh, I wish I watched you play South Park. It should still be on Twitch. I just didn't make it onto YouTube because of content which would not be friendly for YouTube on many, many levels. Hello, Evil Ways President. My mother actually said to me today, I watched you stream a little bit of that South Park game. That's that's very politically incorrect, isn't it? And I said, yep, yeah, yeah, it is. I found an item room yet. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we hadn't found an item room. It's just a green chest spawn. That was right. I don't know which part of it she saw, but she saw some of it, yeah. From from when the like the stream where I finished it. Maybe when I beat up Morgan Freeman. On my first attempt, with zero casualties, spoilers. I forgot the bullet bore is uh, like garbage for bosses now, so I should probably just be using it on enemies. Get your head drilled. I really shouldn't be using it on zombies, though. That's a little excessive. They didn't even kill a summoner in one. Great. Does your family watch your YouTube channel? My sister watches some of my videos. And the one, well, actually, no, she might watch them all, but she only, she, like, she mutes the one she doesn't care about. Last I heard. I think I caught her with a, a Gungeon run playing once when I visited her, and she had that on mute. What I'm saying is my sister smells. And she'll never know. If indeed I was right about it being in an Inner Gungeon episode, I can't quite remember. package arrived at my P.O. Box five days ago? What? I haven't had any notice about anything in the P.O. Box waiting for me and usually if it's because there's some kind of fee they tell me. So I don't know. I, I did know that the P.O. Box usually holds stuff for like say two or three days before informing me. But five days is a little excessive. Um, I'm not sure. I'll look into it. Not now obviously but I'll look into it. Ooh, two ammo boxes? Okay. Um, say, like, smileys and. Not lowercase r. Yeah, that is strange. I'll see if anything comes in the post tomorrow, and if it doesn't, I'll get on the phone to them, I guess. Leave your house right now, go to the PO box. It doesn't work like that. The Royal Mail ones aren't like 
a physical location. It's just like part of the normal distribution. Yeah, they really made the bullet board like trash tier, didn't they? Such a shame because it used to be top tier. IRL stream. No, I'm not a scantily clad lady, so I can't do an IRL stream. Can call the chest. Would I get more direct? income from increasing sub tier or patreon i would get more directly from patreon but if you want the higher tier mode on twitch then you go for that whatever suits you any sport that goes above and beyond is welcome no matter what the form it takes You saw a chubby Indian guy in IRL stream with for over 1k people. Why well, you gotta mention his weight? Crispy cream phones. Also, what's wrong with that? Ooh, hello there. Never gonna be able to afford that, but still nice to see a good gun in a run which is void of them. Oh, how many keys do you have for sale? Ah, uh, what the hell, I'll take a gamble. Although I want to see the other chests first in case one of them is actually a good quality one. Oh, did I mention chat that I actually did have the dispatch notice for my wargaming table? I, it's a UPS tracking thing, even though I think it's coming from Germany. It doesn't have a ETA yet, but hopefully it'll be the end of the week. So 40k stuff should be coming soon. It's on its way. I could sell weapons, yes, but the problem is I also have nothing passive-wise that synergizes with the Hyperlight Drifter gun. So there is a chance I would run out of ammo unless I only used it on big bosses. As in, and by big bosses, I mean like wide. Because I said I wasn't a scant scantily clad female, so you gave the opposite. Ah, I see. Well, what was this person doing? Because any clip I've seen from IRL, it's always someone not playing games and like shaking their ass. It's softcore pornography, basically. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you like want softcore pornography, I wouldn't suggest Twitch as being the site to go for it. And it's also not sexist to point out titty streamers and what's wrong with them. If male streamers were doing it, they are also in the wrong. It's just the majority are female. Um, I don't even remember what that does. It's not worth being in a red chest, whatever it was. Well, that was my only key. Maybe we'll get two keys from the boss, which is probably the wall. There's a gamer discussing his PC, working and fixing his PC. That actually sounds like an okay IRL stream. It's a shame that it doesn't have that as its kind of poster child. Because that's what it should be for on a site like Twitch. But the thing is, the same kind of people who buy loot boxes using their parents' money, they also donate to see a little bit of cleavage. Whether that be male cleavage or female cleavage, they donate to see it. Is this really my best weapon for this? Do I have anything that pierces? I don't think Demon's Head pierces. Also, if I said hink there instead of think, it's a very nasty Scottish habit. Mispronouncing words. Yes, 
just walk into my knife shield. Do it. It's gone. Still has the most HP, that's a smart idea. I brought them down kind of like all equally by mistake. <laughs> In. Maybe this is Bullet Boar's time to shine? That was a terrible dodge. Just wasted my flawless. And I no longer care. This is out of ammo too. It died to poison. Oh, got a good gun, finally. No keys though, so I'm gonna have to go shoot green chest now. Yes, there's a lot of hearsay on Twitch right now about disparity and how the rules are dished out. Certain people being banned for for life for doing minor infractions. Someone showing their vagina and getting 24-hour ban, etc. Although now, I think someone reported it to like the New Yorker or something like that, and they did a piece on it. So now, Twitch is actually going to try and enforce the rules evenly amongst everyone. The problem is they don't have like set hires I think like there's I don't think their staff is volunteers I think they are paid but the ones who are going through the the bands and things I don't think they're like full-time in Amazon base but I don't know if, how the company has made up ever since Amazon bought them Really, honestly, the IRL section is a mistake. And it should be done away with until it should focus on games. It's honestly what would be best for everybody, I feel. Like, the IRL section is borderline what Twitch was before Twitch was Twitch. It was Justin.tv, and that was kind of like miscellaneous anything. That was folk doing gaming, that was people just streaming their lives. It was also like people like drawing and all sorts. But then they focused on the gaming because the gaming is what was successful for them. What's eventually, or that is eventually rather, what got them purchased by Amazon. And yet now they're falling back into old trends. And I don't think it's going to work well for them long term, especially if people keep on giving them bad press. Like, look what happened with YouTube and the the adpocalypse. That was due to one bad ar article on a noteworthy site. If the same happens for Twitch, assuming there's actual proof, of course, then they're going to have a lot of ground to cover, like YouTube did, and we're all going to suffer as a result. Like right now, if a game has nudity in it, it's allowed, as long as it's not the focus of the stream and it's necessary to progress. But if one of those articles kind of gets launched, a hit piece on Twitch, you might see them have to ban any game with questionable content of any type. And questionable is a subjective term. Like, South Park wouldn't be allowed. Do I get much from Twitch ads? No. The ads on Twitch are not quite as bad as the ones on YouTube, but they are not... They're not really worth the... Where's the key? They're not really worth the inconvenience imposed on the viewer, which is also why I hate that there's no option to turn off their new automatic mid-rolls. Apparently I'm suffering from a glitch, because I asked on Twitter if anyone else was getting this, but if I watch someone's past broadcast, I'm getting an ad every 10 minutes, on the dot. I, I timed it today. 
I'm getting an ad every 10 minutes, and that sometimes are skippable, sometimes they're not. And that is deterring me from bothering watching past broadcasts. Now, obviously, if I was sub to all these people I watch past broadcasts of, then that wouldn't be an issue. But I'm not going to sub to all of them just to have not even ad free viewing. I don't mind when they run ads or if there's an ad at the start and the end. It's every 10 minutes. I don't know why Twitch did that. I, I honestly don't. It, ads do not make as much money as like what they get from bits and their cut of the subscription. I don't know why they suddenly decided to focus more on putting more ads on Twitch when that's what makes them the least money. You were getting ads midstream pretty consistently. Yeah, that's the other thing. They were called mid-roll ads in the email I got about them. And they're not mid-roll. They're every 10 minutes. But it's only for some people. And that's whether like the people who replied to me on Twitter were not using ad block. And they were also not subbed to whoever it was. Ah! Oh, this is going to hurt. I'm going to put it down to a glitch that I'm getting them every 10 minutes when it's supposed to be like in the middle of a broadcast. I hope that it's a glitch. Because honestly it's that kind of behaviour that encourages people to get ad block, which hurts us all in the end. That's why I despise when I see YouTubers who do that. Hello Phoenix. Keep in mind as well, if you still have Twitch Turbo, that means you get no ads site-wide as well. Oh, Knife Shield failed me there. Oop. Looking at chat there and very nearly got myself hit. Killed that poor duck. You don't use an ad block on Twitch, but you haven't seen an ad since you subbed. Well, that's because you subbed. Subscribing to someone you watch on Twitch is guilt free ad free. Because you don't get any ad. Well, actually, it's down to the, the streamer to choose whether or not subs get ads. But I have it set so that you don't. Because I think that's that justifies the subscription. You can feel good that you're still supporting as if you were getting ads, but you don't get them. Whoop. I don't remember this room having four of these things. I remember having two. I might have ammo for this too. I've also been forgetting to open up every room with a black hole. That's my bad, because I'm mostly talking and looking at chat. Demon Head's no good against Dragon because you've got to charge and not dodge roll. So I guess I'll use it as a room clear and then we're down to our basic pistol, which is... Basically par for the course on this run. He's stuck on that. I don't know how he got stuck on it. Oh, the black hole, I guess. I try to be kind to subs, yes. For the record, I still don't think that streamers can offer enough to to benefit people who go to the highest sub tier. I don't think one exclusive emote cuts it. And every time Twitch asks for feedback, I ask them to give us more options to to give rewards to people at that tier. I'm still grateful that people choose to do it, but I still feel that the streamer themselves can't do enough yet. Although they are bringing in like gift subscriptions soon, so they might be able to do something with that. Oh, you know what would be a good idea? Like, if you have the twenty-four ninety-nine sub tier for someone, 
Maybe you get like a month trial sub you can give to a friend so they get to play with their mooks as well or something, you know, just anything. Animated emotes for higher tiers would also be very nice. Ah, there's a good gun. Get chickened TM. Sorry, I don't, don't know if you heard me, but I said get chickened. No, no, you chose death. Get chickened, also on fire. Get chickened. I don't want to chicken the blue flames, they have to die. Oh! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, oh, there's dragon. If I go for it now, I might just win, although I missed an item room there, so let's at least get that. Charm? No, witch bullets. Ma well, magic bullets, yeah. So now all my guns can randomly turn things into chickens. It's a shame to get that so late in the run. That would have been a nice pickup for floor one. Um, Black hole gun and this for dragon. <laughs> Oh dear. Usually they don't tighten in on you until after you walk past them. Oh, I tried to fire it but I got hit so it cancelled the animation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea you could suck the knives off the wall and destroy them that way. Also, it's not dead, apparently. Get destroyed. We've done basically no damage, so we're still probably going to lose because I'm going to lose patience of constantly charging up black holes. The run gave us nothing to work with, though. the whole Roman Empire. Hope you've been conquesting lots of the world. Or Kaiser. Oh, look how uninjured he is. Is this doing more damage than my starting pistol? Eh, kind of. Get absorbed. It's not that far off, Phase Two. I'm in left click, hoping for the best. Oh, that was pretty. This gun actually fires fast enough, or I don't know, has a trajectory that it doesn't get fully sucked into the black hole, which is nice.
Is that going to help me or hurt me? Um, it's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, everything is not fine. I need to be over here. Ah, oh, I made it for some reason. I can't help myself. Well, this does good contact damage. Not really. Ah, killing dragon with the star pistol. Is there anything more tedious? Yes, but not by much. What? 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 Um. Help! Help! The bullets aren't disappearing. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Kill him, please kill him, please kill him. Ah! I think I have enough black holes to live. Oh, I still have three blanks, that's fine. Everything is fine. Pay no attention to the bullets that didn't disappear. Okay, everything is fine. <laughs> Nothing untowards happened. Everything is as it should be. Yes, it was only a little on fire. Oh yeah, that was just the BT lag kicking in. I had the broken modem from Isaac. It's just a little airborne, it's still good, it's still good. Uh, you better believe that we're going back to high noon. We still managed to pull a win over our ass despite that being a pretty bad run, all things considered. For the people watching after the fact on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. We're going to record at least one more in this thing, so I shall see you for that. Ta for now.